What's going on, you guys? So we're here on Bushido Boxing TV. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell if you haven't done so already. But Chris Van Herding comes out and says that Jerron Boots and his hits harder than Errol Spence Jr. And Chris Van Herding, he's the guy who shared the ring with both fighters. Errol Spence on his rise as a professional, right? When he first was on the scene, he's one of the guys that Errol Spence fought early on. He's also one of the guys that Jerron Boots and has fought more recently. And he said Jerron Boots and his hits harder than Errol Spence. He says this in quote. I've been hit by Spence a lot. I've been hit by Ennis to know that it didn't drop me. But when he hit me, it was like, oh boy. He says, Ennis power is even more than Spence power. I'll tell you that. When Ennis hit me, I got a little scared. I was like, oh damn, this is different power. When we look at Jerron Boots Ennis, one would imagine he hits hard. He's arguably one of the biggest welterweights that we have currently today. And it, it wouldn't be a surprise if he was probably the hardest puncher and one of the hardest punchers at that weight. Then he says, Spence is technically a clean fighter. It's 80% stings. It's numb power. Ennis is wild. He jumps in. He's ferocious. He's wild. Now, when he hit me, it like a red light went off. Oh, this is why this guy knocks out everyone. He's got power. The boy's got power. I'm thinking immediately in my head in that round was he hits harder than Spence. I took Spence's power. Spence had a 90% KO ratio when I fought him. When Spence hit me, I respected his power. But I was like, wait, this is not enough power to single-handedly knock me out. So when he said when he was fighting Spence, yeah, Spence hits hard, but it wasn't nothing to just flash, knock you out, right? Nothing exploding and then just go put you out like a Deontay Wilder, you know? No matter what he hitting you with, it's going to knock you out, right? It's explosive. Errol Spence isn't necessarily an explosive puncher. Then he says, when Ennis hit me, my mind went, oh, shit. I've got to keep my hands up because this kid can knock me out with one punch. He's got power, man. Real power. Both have real power, but Ennis does make a noise. So clearly, Jerron Boots Ennis, based off a guy who shared the ring with both guys, has more power than Spence. I mean, Jerron Boots Ennis is a bigger, seemed like a bigger guy than even Errol Spence, who for a majority of his career as a welterweight has been considered one of the bigger welterweights. But now with young fighters like Jerron Boots Ennis on the scene, well, I think that's a thing of the past. Jerron Boots Ennis looks like a middleweight. If you ask the right people, Jerron Boots Ennis is really a middleweight fighting welterweights, right? This is what some people are saying. They call him a weight bully, et cetera, et cetera. Jerron Boots Ennis is pretty big um, for a welterweight, in my opinion. He's huge. Right now, not when asked if Ennis can beat Spence. You can't say that Ennis is up and coming. He, Ennis has nearly 30 fights. Ennis is not a baby anymore. He's a real fighter. But technically, Spence does so well. And this is a little bit wild. And a guy like Spence that is such an elite fighter, he's going to make you pay if you're wild. Spence has fought the names, the bigger names, the better names, the better opponents. Because of that, I'm backing Spence to beat Ennis. Not knock him out, though. I don't think he'll knock him out. I just think Spence beats him at the moment. So despite him saying that Jerron Boots Ennis hits harder than Spence, with real power, he still thinks Errol Spence beats Jerron Boots Ennis in a fight. And this is something that I've said. When we talk about Spence Crawford fighting a guy like Boots Ennis, I couldn't just come out here and just say that Jerome Boots Ennis will beat Spence or Crawford. I just can't say that. I just can't say it. I haven't seen them in enough situations. See, we've seen Spence in some situations. We've seen Crawford in some situations. We haven't seen Boots Ennis in these type of situations. And that's just the way I gauge things. When you have a supremely talented fighter who's checking off all the boxes, I need to see him in these situations. I need to see him get hit in the mouth. Haven't seen it just yet. But only time will tell, right? But he's Chris Van Herding. He's a guy, South African fighter. Fought, a, fought a, some of the top guys in the sport. He fought Errol Spence Jr. on his rise. He fought Jerron Boots Ennis. And he says Jerron Boots Ennis punches harder, hits harder than even Errol Spence Jr. However, Errol Spence Jr. still beats him in the fight. Tell me what you guys think. Like, subscribe, holler at your boy. Peace out.